Welcome, thanks so much for joining us today. My name is April, and I'm a horticulturalist here at Botanical Interest Seed Company. Today we're gonna to be talking about some tips to help you sow seeds and get them started successfully indoors. We are gonna take some questions at the end, so please do leave them in the comments and let us know where you're watching from. First, we're gonna talk about containers. There's a wide variety of things that you can use. You can reuse something that you got at the garden center last year. Um, I even like to use these salad clamshells sometimes. The key is that it needs to be clean, sanitized, and have good drainage. So in this case, for the clamshell, I would poke holes in the bottom, and I also wanna point out that this filled with soil would be too deep and it would keep stuff moist for too long. So I would only put about an inch and a half to two inches of soil in here which brings us to our next point. I'm actually using our paper pots today, which I love because I can sew a different thing in each one and they're really handy to label. And you can actually tear away the bottom and plant them right in the ground in the garden and they biodegrade there. It's pretty awesome. We're gonna fill these with our seed starting mix. And if you've worked with potting soil before, you'll notice that it's a lot finer then a potting soil mix. There's gonna be no bark in here, no large pieces, because these little seeds need a fine space to put down their roots. So I put the seed starting mix in there, and then I tamp it down a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure there's no air pockets in there. We wanna have a good balance of air and moisture. And we're ready to sow. So the seeds I'm sowing today only need to be sown about a quarter inch deep, and those instructions are right on the packet. So I can go along and just put a little dividend with my finger a quarter inch deep. And then I sow the seeds in that little divot, and go back and tamp some that quarter inch of soil right down on top. And it's that same concept where we just, we don't want any air pockets around the seed. We want consistent moisture while it's germinating. I did pre-moisten the seed starting mix, which makes it a little easier to work with, but it's not moist enough to really germinate the seeds. So I am gonna go back and water our seeds in. And they need to stay really moist while they're germinating. If you think about it, they're just trapped in that top quarter inch. Um, so that top quarter inch, it's really important to keep it moist. And um, a trick for that is you can use one of those plastic domes maybe that came with your flat, or this already has a plastic dome, or you can even just use plastic food wrap while they're germinating. So this also helps keep the temperature up a little bit. And I wanna point out that uh, the optimal temperature for germination is different. It varies with different seeds. Uh, we often, we put that on the back of every vegetable packet, so check there. Um, for instance, lettuce doesn't like to germinate over 80 degrees, but peppers love it in that temperature range. So it's something to think about when you're picking your seed starting space. So we're gonna pretend now that our seeds have sprouted. Um, so what happens then is the plastic comes off and then the lights go on. You want your lights on for 14 to 16 hours a day. So you may find it handy to add a timer um, at the wall so they just turn on and off automatically. You can use simple shop lights that are fluorescent at home. That's often um, kind of an option people have laying around in the garage. But if you do, you're gonna want it to be just one to two inches above the foliage of the plants. And so they're gonna need to, the light will need to be raised as the plants grow, so keep that in mind. But other grow lights, it's about two feet, depends on the, the type of grow light you use. Lastly, I wanna point out, it's good to have good air circulation in the room. So we've added a fan here, but it's not pointed at the soil because that would dry out the soil too quickly. You can point it at a back wall. You're just trying to create a flow in the room. And it's really that simple. We'll take some questions here and we'll get to the other ones in the comments after. Thanks so much for joining us today and please share this in case your other gardening friends have questions and happy sewing. <laughs>